Currently, anti-tank guided missiles are the army's most destructive anti-tank weapon. Laser homing attack missile, or LAHAT, is an advanced missile developed and manufactured by the MBT division of Israel Aerospace Industries. It is a lightweight missile suitable for precision attack missions. The gun or canister launch missile can be fired from a range of platforms such as armor vehicles, tanks, and helicopters. The missile is effectively used in urban areas requiring a low collateral damage solution. It can hit both station and moving targets while avoiding the air defense of hostile forces. LAHAT was developed in 1992, designed primarily to be fired by the 105 and 120mm tank guns of the Merkava tank, though it matches own types of 105 and 120mm guns, including low recoil guns and low weight guns of military ammo cars. Unlike other tank rounds, LAHAT does not need a tank gun for operation. LAHAT has a length of 975mm, diameter of 104.5mm, and a weight of 12.5kg. A LAHAT launcher equipped with four missiles weighs less than 80kg. The compact dimensions of the missile allow easy integration on lightweight helicopters, light vehicles, and armor vehicles. Conventional tanks require minimal modifications to install the LAHAT system. The laser range fighter is replaced with laser designator module. LAHAT programming is configured in the fire control computer. The missile is stored like other rounds in the ammunition rack and handled just like any other type of ammunition. The LAHAT is designed to achieve a 90% probability of cure under most conditions. It has a semi-active laser guidance system capable of both direct and indirect laser designation. The target can be laser designated by the launching platform or other platforms including tank, helicopter, UAV, or forward scouting team, requiring minimal exposure in the firing position. With a low launch signature, the missile's trajectory can be set to match either top attack or direct attack engagements. The LAHAT missile has a range of up to 8,000 meters when launched from a ground platform and up to 13,000 meters when deployed from high elevation. The time of flight to a target at 4,000 meters is 14 seconds and the missile hits the targets at an accuracy of 0.7 meters circular euro probable and an angle of over 30 degrees providing effective penetration of up to 800mm of RHA armor steel with a tandem warhead to deal with add-on reactive armor. LAHAT might also carry embedded active protection system countermeasures capabilities. LAHAT is handled as a wooden route and is loaded as a conventional route of ammunition. It has a conventional cartridge case with the booster trucks launching the projectile from the 105mm gun trip at a low velocity after when the four fins unfold and the main sustainer motor cuts in and accelerates the missile until target impact. The LAHAT was renamed to Nimrod SR for the Latin American market. The United States military is considering using the LAHAT as a weapon to arm unmanned aerial vehicles. 
The missile has been tested on the IAIRQ-5 Hunter 